a hip ride canceled. So doctors uh, helped you a lot in your life, oh, yes. right? Oh yes. For the blood type A people, laughter and I love it attitude are crucial for leaving a hospital alive. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> With all their modern technologies and medical breakthroughs, medical doctors often don't know what is right for themselves. They often have a catastrophic or degenerative disease and in most cases cannot help themselves to get well. I was going to a doctor in the area and when he uh, died of cancer. What do they die from? Well, they die from cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Doctors suffer from the same physical problems as the people they treat. Doctors are rarely a picture of health and they die prematurely. The doctor lives 19 years less life than the average person. The average lifespan, according to their own studies of a medical doctor, is 56. I have to ask my doctor. We better be quick. He's a 55. <laughs> However, some of them achieve a long life, as in the case of Dr. Bill Sweet, a neurosurgeon. By shortening lives of his experimental patients, he prolonged his own life by nearly 30 years. Dr. Sweet was in federal court. Some of the victims of his research through the Freedom of Information Act had gotten word of what he, he did. He was being sued for fraud and malpractice and eventually was convicted and found guilty. A few months later he died, actually at age 90. If they are injured or have a serious condition, the longevity personality seeks emergency health and medical tests, chiropractic adjustments. I also see a chiropractor regularly. Or a holistic center where they can learn healthy lifestyles. So you, so you teach them a yes, change of yes, lifestyle, yes, right? They consider regular medical, non-invasive checkups. I go about once a year to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. Now, nowadays, I didn't used to go to a doctor at all. But I, nowadays, I go about once a year. And an acupuncturist. As needed. And I do see a uh, massage therapist who does Reiki therapy with me. Uh -huh. And acupressure. Or holistic diagnoses like irradiology and sclerology, live blood analysis, pulse, fingernail. You certainly would be better. Tongue and face analyses. Early detection of a disease prompts them to stop their unhealthy habits and heal by adopting a healthy lifestyle. They think it's a good idea to visit a reflexology and massage therapist, herbalist. This is comfrey, and comfrey is good for scratches, cuts, bruises. Make a poultice out of the leaves to put on you. Traditional Chinese medicine doctor, or ayurvedic doctor. The longevity personality takes responsibility for their health. They do their best to avoid becoming a burden to their family and society. They become their own doctor. They make their own health priority number one. I just decided that I wanted to control what I was doing with my body and decided that that was going to be a priority to me. They educate themselves, do their research, read health books and articles, watch videos and listen to health recordings. They are careful about books on diet, anti-aging, and longevity written by medical doctors. They direct you to wait for a magic pill in the near future, recommend hormone replacement therapy, or to see your doctor for a prescription for a longer life. Most likely, just the opposite will occur. Instead, they listen to the naturopathic doctors and authors who walk their talk and are a picture of health, like Dr. Paul Bragg, Jack LaLanne, Dr. Bob Del Monte, Dr. Bernard Jetson, Dr. C. Norman Shelley, Dr. Fred Beachy, Dr. Brian Clement, Dr. David Jubb, Dr. Sayo Watanabe, and others. The longevity personality takes good care of themselves, invests their time and efforts in their health and fitness, and prefers to be self-reliant. They free themselves from outside help unless it is absolutely necessary. They have reclaimed ownership of their lives. We can definitely learn from them to be healthy and happy and enjoy our lives and live long with freedom. Don't you want some honey, honey, sweet honey from the